Hi, I'm Didoc. Here at the Barcelona Provincial Council, we've been working hard to organise all the documents and information related to the newly passed records management policy and in compliance with the Transparency Act. How will we classify information from now on to make it more structured and accessible both now and in the future? We'll do so with new archiving tools that will allow us to create a unified structured system that is interoperable with other administrations and within our own archives. Moreover, these instruments will allow us to know, for example, when physical or electronic records must be transferred, when records are publicly accessible, when they must be destroyed or become permanent records, and what type of documents are in each file. And what archiving tool will we start with? With the classification scheme. This is a list of all past and current activities of the Barcelona Provincial Council that have generated any type of records. We understand records to be anything from textual documents to videos, digital photos, databases, plans or geolocalization systems, among others. By looking at the list, it will be very easy to get an idea of everything the Barcelona Provincial Council does. The classification scheme includes the function, subfunction, classes and specific subdivisions. The function refers to the organizational competencies and is represented with a letter of the alphabet. The subfunction provides more information regarding the function and is represented with two additional numbers. The class or classification code, which is what we're interested in, refers to the physical or electronic records generated through the functions and subfunctions. This is also represented with two numbers. Finally, specific subdivisions may be added when needed. This is supplementary information that, although not required, can make searching much easier. The most important aspect of a good classification system is understanding the types of records we generate and therefore the types of classes we deal with. Classes are key to classification. We now use SAP that allows us to classify records and information. In order to organize records, we must create a new file that will hold all the information generated by one activity. This file will be labeled with the year and correlative number. And all records added to the file will have the same classification code or class, which is the same. Let's look at an example. What would the classification code be for records regarding organization of the Granoyers Marathon? When we choose the classification code on the SAP, you can see that the function is pre-established. In this case, it is X, which denotes aid to local administrations and individuals. So the only thing we have to do is select the proper class for the records generated from the list we are given. This way, we will have created a new file where all related records will be stored. And remember, all the information on the archiving tools can be found in the Archive and Records Management section of the Barcelona Provincial Council intranet site and in the Records Management section of the Barcelona Provincial Council website, deba.cat forward slash archiu. Ready to get started? <laughs>